I think it's safe to say that I have spent more time, money, and effort on football boots than the average person. So much so that it actually makes me... <sighs> I don't know what it makes me. Regardless of what I think it makes me, it's something that I truly do enjoy and don't really regret in any way at all. And one question that I've got a lot over the years, given the amount of boots that I now have in my personal collection, is what is the most expensive boots that I've owned, both in terms of value, as well as the amount of money that I spent to get them in the first place. And there is one clear winner in this particular category in regards to how much I spent, which actually makes me sick looking back, and how much they might be worth and that's something we'll talk about as well. So going back a little over four years now, January 2015, Nike launched their BHM collection, BHM standing for Black History Month, and this would typically include a bunch of sneakers and some apparel, but for the first time ever they were going to include a football boot and that boot was the extremely hyped up Nike Mercurial Superfly 4, which had just launched the summer before, it's flying it, it's mid-cut, it's the return of the Superfly, it's the most expensive model Nike makes along with the Magista Obra 1 and people just really wanted Superflies in every single colorway. They were pretty much selling out even though they were general releases but this was going to be a limited edition one and one that would be extremely difficult to get. Now I don't remember 100% how the release went down but I'm pretty sure that it just came out randomly. They hadn't unveiled the boots, they haven't shown anything about them, they just one day popped up on Nike and sold out pretty much instantaneously so all the people that really wanted these boots once they saw them weren't able to get them because they already sold out and the amount that they produced of this Superfly was extremely low. Nike never gave any official numbers but based on how many pairs are out there very very few I would estimate maybe 50 to 100 pairs total worldwide because if you go and look in the resale market they just don't exist. Now if you've ever tried to buy a limited edition football boot that just came out but sold out and you still really wanted them, the obvious place to go would be on eBay and buy them from somebody trying to resell them. And these days when that happens, you'll basically find two or three hundred listings of all kinds of different boots. It almost seems like all the boots they sold ended up on eBay after the fact, which kind of sucks, but that's just how the world is these days. In the case of these BHM Superflies, I remember at that time, the week after they had released and I had missed out. I went on eBay because I really wanted a pair and there was only like two or three pairs for sale once people actually had these things and the asking prices were ridiculous. I remember looking on eBay and seeing two different listings, one for a size 9 US, the other for a size 10 US and the guy with the 9 US wanted something like $1,500 and he wasn't going to budge. Keep in mind the retail on these shoes was like 350 at the highest if I'm remembering correctly. So I had to go with the size 10 and that guy was asking $1,000 as a buy it now price. I ended up messaging him on eBay and eventually talking him down to the incredible value of 600 US dollars. I paid double retail for a pair of football boots. It's the only time I've ever done that. And here they are. You can see they came in this fancy matte black box with the BHM logo right there in the middle. All the gold detailing even there on the bottom. So the packaging I would say is pretty premium and you can get a look at the size tag as well if that's something you have any interest in at all. And keep in mind that I actually made a regular review on feet video back in 2015 when I finally got them. In fact, I'm gonna leave a little pop-up on screen and you can go and watch that older video if you can handle it. Open the box up and you'll find a couple of extras. This little card right here, again with the BHM logo with some writing. If you wanna read that, go ahead and pause the video and read it. Also included with the boots, as you'd expect with any top end model, is a string bag, which is black in color, has the BHM logo there in the middle with all the matching patterns you find on the boots, a gold swoosh at the bottom, and then the white and black strings. Nothing on the back because I rate string bags now. This gets a string bag rating of totally not worth $600. And then finally, the boots themselves, which I have to say, every time I take them out of the box, it really is one of the best looking Nike Mercurials ever. So the boots themselves, as you can see, are really, really cool. This particular pattern that you find across the entire upper was consistent across the entire Black History Month collection that year, and I just thought it looked very, very cool. They went with a solid black fly knit base, and then the Nike skin covering is what has all of that pattern. It's got a gold detail in the form of the outline for the Nike 
Nike swoosh. And then the pattern in the middle, it's kind of black on dark gray. The dark gray bits are actually reflective. Same thing goes for the small swoosh right here. It has the BHM logo there in gold on the back. It's got a special insole with the same branding and pattern as well. And then the sole plate is of course carbon fiber, as you'd expect from a pair of Superfly 4s. Aside from that, they're just regular Superfly 4s that I paid $600 for. So when I decided I was gonna make this video and tell this story, I figured it would be a fun conclusion to decide whether or not this was actually a good investment because paying double retail for just about any football boot isn't really a great investment. Looking back, honestly, if these came out right now and were super limited, if I had to go and spend $600 in the resale market, given how many boots I already have, I probably wouldn't have done it. But back in 2015, I was maybe a little bit more crazy. I had the money for them and I kind of justified it as a birthday present to myself. Either way, before making this video, I went on eBay really quickly and kind of searched around for another pair of Black History Month Superfly 4s. Are there any for sale, available at all, and how much is the asking price? And I found one single pair for sale in a size 9 US, which is just pure coincidence. I think they might have only made these in whole sizes because I've never seen anything other than a 9 or a 10 for sale. And they're asking 3,500 US dollars as a buy it now price. If you do the math on that, that is six times more than I paid for these in just four years. Now, this is just a random eBay listing. I didn't really do any kind of hardcore searching online to see if there were any other pairs for sale. I'm just going by the one listing. But if that is legitimately the only one that's for sale, then I guess I made a pretty decent deal. The one thing that I will say though, is even if I did list these for let's say $1,000, a fraction of what that other guy is asking, would there actually be anybody out there willing to pay $1,000 for these? That I'm not so sure about. Look, they're cool boots. They're one of my personal favorite pairs in my entire collection. They're probably one of the most rare pairs, if not the most rare pair in my entire collection as well. Not to mention, they are the most expensive in terms of what I actually paid for them. But are these necessarily a good investment? I just don't know. But I am curious to know what you guys think. Did I make a good investment paying $600 for these four years ago? Let me know your opinions down below in the comments of this video. And that's pretty much it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed this and perhaps want to see more kind of interesting stories focused around certain boots that I have in my collection, because there are a lot more like this, support this video with a like and definitely I can try and make that happen. If you have any questions, as always, leave it down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as as I possibly can. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.